Skill learning is a dynamic process that involves acquiring and refining abilities through practice and experience. Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. In this video, let's delve into the intricacies of skill learning and let's illuminate the journey of developing expertise and mastery. Skill learning is the process of acquiring and enhancing abilities through practice, experience and feedback. Whether it's playing a musical instrument, perfecting a sport or honing a craft, skill learning involves the development of specific capabilities over time. While skill learning shares commonalities with other learning types such as cognitive learning and observational learning, it distinctively focuses on the development and refinement of specific motor or cognitive abilities. It often involves repetitive practice and the gradual improvement of performance. Researchers like Anders Eriksson have contributed significantly to our understanding of skill acquisition, emphasizing the role of deliberate practice and focused efforts in achieving expertise. Psychologist Daniel Kahneman's work on thinking fast and slow also has implications for skill learning. Phases of skill acquisition Skill learning passes through several qualitatively different phases. With each successive attempt at learning a skill, one's performance becomes smoother and less effort demanding. In other words, it becomes more spontaneous or automatic. It has been shown that in each phase, the performance improves. In transition from one phase to the next, when the level of performance stands still, it is called performance plateau. Once the next phase begins, performance starts improving and its level starts going up. One of the most influential accounts of the phases of skill acquisition is presented by Fitz. According to him, skill learning passes through three phases that are cognitive, associative, and autonomous. Each phase or stage of skill learning involves different types of mental processes. In the cognitive phase of skill learning, the learner has to understand and memorize the instructions and also understand how the task has to be performed. In this phase, every outside cue, instructional demand, and one's response outcome have to be kept alive in consciousness. The second phase is associative. In this phase, different sensory inputs or stimuli are linked with appropriate responses. As the practice increases, errors decrease, performance improves, and the time taken is also reduced. With continued practice, errorless performance begins, though the learner has to be attentive to all the sensory inputs and maintain concentration on the task. Then the third phase begins, which is autonomous. In this phase, two important changes take place in performance. The attentional demands of the associative phase decrease and interference created by external factors reduces. Finally, skilled performance attains automaticity with minimal demand on conscious effort. Transitions from one phase to the other clearly show that practice is the only means of skill learning. One has to keep on exercising and practicing. As the practice increases, improvement rate gradually increases and automaticity of errorless performance becomes the hallmark of skill. This is why it is said that practice makes a man perfect. Examples of skill learning are abundant, ranging from acquiring proficiency in playing a musical instrument, perfecting a dance routine, and mastering a new language. Everyday activities like typing, driving, or cooking also involve the development and refinement of skills. Practice is a cornerstone of skill learning. Deliberate practice, which involves focused and structured efforts to improve performance, is particularly crucial. Repetition and targeted refinement of specific aspects of a skill contribute to mastery over time. Feedback is essential in skill learning as it provides information about performance, allowing individuals to identify areas for improvement. Constructive feedback, whether from a coach, teacher, or self-assessment, guides the refinement of techniques and strategies. While there are many sensitive periods for certain skills, the concept of neuroplasticity suggests that the brain remains adaptable throughout life. People can learn and develop new skills at various stages, although the ease of learning may vary depending on factors like motivation and prior experience. Cognitive skills such as problem solving, critical thinking, and decision making can be learned and enhanced through practice and experience. Cognitive skill learning often involves mental rehearsal, strategy development, and adapting approaches based on feedback. Motivation is a powerful factor in skill learning. Intrinsic motivation driven by personal interest and enjoyment often leads to more sustained efforts and better outcomes. External factors like rewards or recognition can also influence motivation and subsequently skill acquisition. 
In education, educators employ various teaching strategies to facilitate skill learning, emphasizing hands-on experience and practical implications. In professional development, individuals engage in ongoing learning to acquire and refine skills relevant to their careers. In conclusion, skill learning is a dynamic and lifelong process that involves dedication and practice and continuous refinement. By exploring the principles, examples, and influential figures in the field of skill learning, we gain valuable insights into the transformative journey of acquiring and mastering abilities. So that's it for this video. If you're looking for quality mental health resources, please check out my Etsy shop. The link is provided in the description box below. If you like the content of this video, please like it and subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon so you're notified when the next video comes out. As always, Thanks for watching.